Welcome to our first episode of Vagamundo Online Podcast. This is your host, Host Wes Sanchez. And today with me to help me uh, get this started, I have my beautiful wife, Ines Molina, with me. Hi, Ines. How are you today? I'm fine, Josue. Thank you for asking. How about you introduce yourself? My name is Josue Sanchez. I was born in El Salvador. I moved to the United States when I was 10 years old, and I grew up in California. Uh, I lived in Ohio and went back to California, and now I'm back here in Ohio. What inspired you to do this podcast? Well, um, just like you do and I do, uh, we sit on our living room and watch YouTube videos of people traveling all around the world. And um, it all started last year when I was searching for uh, El Salvador. And then we found this blog post by the Nomadic Movement. And um, when they were there in El Salvador and how um, beautiful they put it all on video. It was just so inspiring. And then we both started looking at their videos and started following some other people that they were with, like uh, Trent and Ali and, and Lou, Lucky Lou, with uh, Luke and Sara, and Live Everything in Wonder, and, and the Matneys, and all these other great people that are out there on their van living every day. Just like you and I talked about before, is something that we would definitely be interested in doing but we don't know if we want to do it ever <laughs> just because just living in this small car is just i don't know it would just be so weird <laughs> that'd be tough living in a small car with three cats one dog that's gonna be too much so uh the reason i wanted to do this podcast is to be able to connect all the people that are just like us that love to uh follow um all these travelers on YouTube and and even those people or even the the YouTubers that uh, are out there, um, you know, I would love to have them as a guest on the show and be able to get to know them a little better and have our, our listeners uh, be able to get to know them too. If you have to do any question to any of these people for their YouTube videos, what question you want to ask? I think the biggest question for me that um, I always wonder is like their first night, like were they scared of sleeping out in the middle of nowhere? And uh, how do they get through that? Because, you know, even when we go camping, we're always like kind of scared of, you know, if there's this crazy person next to us and, you know, what they might do. And that's always in the back of my mind. So that, that would be definitely the number one question. I think that's why I don't like, I don't want to do this life because I'll be bringing my machete. <laughs> I'm going to have my cutwalk with me. Now that we are not doing this, that type of life, if you do have the possibility, if you come with one million, what countries you want to visit? I think we've talked about this before, and I think the number one on both of our lists would be Japan, uh, just because of the culture there. And, um, of course, you know, with COVID-19 right now, <laughs> you can't go anywhere. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, once the vaccine is out there, uh, they'll traveling will be uh, back to normal but definitely Japan would be the the first country on my list uh, just to be able to go out there and go to their beautiful uh, island and um, hike uh, many of the trails that they have try their foods yeah it's sushi for <laughs> breakfast lunch dinner <laughs> I do like the ramen uh, you know from street ramen and uh, octopus and all the seafood that they have over there in Japan. It's just, uh, it would be so amazing. What country you have you visited? Uh, well, um, growing up, uh, when I was a kid, my mom used to take us to Mexico. Uh, growing up in California, uh, we used to go to Tijuana a lot. And um, then later on, uh, I was able to go to Costa Rica with you. And then I've been to some of the states here in, in the United States. I've been to... Illinois, Minnesota, South Carolina, North Carolina, um, Florida, California. Uh, just I would like to go to the you know big national parks. For all these countries that you visit or you live, uh, can you tell me uh, three places you think are the best? So I remember we went to um, maybe when was it two years ago? We went to Costa Rica and we went to Rio Celeste, which is this waterfall. 
and the the water is just blue and uh it just mixes with all the minerals from the mountain and it's just paradise there it was amazing 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 to look at and to be there and just uh all in nature um just it, it, you just felt like you were in paradise so um that's been one of my top places that i uh that i visited uh the other one uh we went to Ensenada with my sister and her family last year we spent a week over there and um the food over there was excellent if you thought you've had good mexican food just wait till you go to mexico and try the street tacos this is just wow it's out of this world you'll never have anything like it uh the third place would be uh one of the ruins over there by uh in el salvador in santa ana called tasumal uh it was an archaeological uh site uh where it was discovered in uh where it was discovered and uh, i just never been to uh, our ruins like that and it was just amazing to look at and being up there and looking at the structures and some of the, l the little museum that they had which one of these three countries you think is the the more affordable if you go in on vacation Uh, I think Mexico it's the most affordable one, especially because um, you know one dollar goes a long way, and uh, you can get a lot for for the money. Uh, the second one, I would think it would be El Salvador, uh, just because the um, you know they use the dollar over there, but still, um, you know you could get a pupusa for twenty five cents or fifty cents. You can't get that here for that price. Um, then the third one would probably be Costa Rica, but that one's really, really expensive because, uh, you know, so touristic, uh, everything is as expensive as it is uh, here in the U.S. What food you like the most for these countries? Well, from Costa Rica, I like their gallina achotada, which uh, it's, um, it is wild chickens and they cook it in achote, which is a spice uh, that's um, th that's red. And it's a little seed that you crush and it turns everything red, like, like kind of like paprika, but it has its own different taste and color. Uh, for El Salvador, definitely the pupusas will win. And, uh, you know, you, you make them a lot here at home, but, uh, you know, when you're out there and you order them and you're out on the street and, you know, you can find uh, a pupuseria in every, yeah, every corner and it's so affordable. And then um, Mexico, of course, uh, tacos al pastor. You know, they're just cutting it there with el, el trompo, which is this thing that spins. They they cut the, the meat and the tortillas. They're putting them in the oil there. And then you just eat it. And it's so, so good. Any tips for people who want to travel? We, tr we like to travel in a budget. Uh, so we don't overspend and, and go crazy, but still uh, look for some of the best places and get the best bargains for your money um one of the tips that uh one one friend of mine jason pandy gave me was uh to go on google and you can just put the around the week that you want to go to and then google will uh give you the best rate for uh, around the days that you want to go to you don't get to pick which day but uh they tell you what what best days of the week you have and you get very cheap tickets like that ah you're talking about flying yeah that's when you go flying yeah. so another tip would be to be open-minded uh when you're trying new foods and fruits um you know you're probably used to just eating mac and cheese or whatever um, you know you grew up eating i grew up eating beans and rice and, and tortillas uh so uh, i'm not a big mac and cheese person but uh you know you go to each country and they all have their uh cultural um types of foods and you know we that's something that I, I love about traveling with you is that you always try to um, try different types of fruits and, and food and then um, you know we just experience new things new flavors always be polite and tip the persons because when you tip they're really grateful and they try they treat you really nice especially if you're renting a taxi or any transport just be sure you tip and you're nice to everyone don't be the arrogant uh, tourist who would think they know everything because you're in their country okay so another tip it's uh, to go to the local spots where the locals go don't go to the touristic places because you know first of all they're very expensive 
and then it's not the real thing. If you want to experience the real thing, go go where the locals go. That's where you're going to find what you're looking for. The real experience. The real experience, yep. How can people find you? Well, there's uh, different uh, places where they can go to. Uh, I have my old uh, YouTube channel, uh, Ines and Josue Travels. Uh, I have another YouTube channel for uh, the podcast. It's called Vagamundos Online. You know, make sure you subscribe to this podcast. And uh, we have a lot more episodes coming up. I have a lot of people that love to travel and some of the people that are traveling out there. I'm planning to have them on the show and they can tell us their experience on how it is to live on a van or a boat or on a sailboat or, you know, on an RV, whatever, whatever they live. Uh, you know, even some va backpackers that have been uh, traveling the world. All right. Well, thank you guys nice for coming to the show and uh, helping me with uh, some of the questions that I had. Make sure you subscribe uh, for more episodes. I'll see you next time. And remember, explore the world.